one point, one point you got in your purse. She was like, man, and so you pulled out your blanket. I said, I thought you two got in an argument on the way in. I go, I said, is a man sitting next to her? They said, yeah. I go, ooh, they got in an argument on the way here. So I'm glad to see her smiling. <laughs> Thanks to you for coming. I, 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 I enjoy Nashville. I like it. I didn't realize it's the bachelorette capital of the world. I didn't know that. I, I, wanna, I just want to ride around town and warn all these women. <laughs> Good luck. Keep sucking on them penis straws. <laughs> They're all going, I ain't ready for us. We better suck Nashville up. I said, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. This is every week. Just another batch running through. Nashville's good, though. Like, a lot of live music here, a lot of country music. Country music ain't what it used to be. Like, everything's kind of intertwined now, you know? Like, I really enjoy the, 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 the guy, Chris Stapleton. The guy, he don't sound like he looks. Because he's, he's one of the few people that could probably sing at the Grand Ole Opry and show to him at the Apollo, same song, and get the same reaction. Because when you see him, he looks like one of them, you know, dudes that should be at the fair drinking a Mountain Dew, <laughs> eating a deep fried Snickers at the same time. Hi, hey, Chris. Hi. Hey. What you doing? Same shit working at Chipotle. I don't expect him to sound like that. I mean, that dude, that dude can sing with the A, not with the I. Cause you, you guys, I know you guys watch Super Bowl, the national anthem. Oh my God! It was like, it's like Whitney Houston and Chris Stapleton. That they're the top two right now. You can pick who you want. Chris Stapleton sang the national anthem so good. I bet you Colin Kaepernick would have stood up if he was playing that day. Could <laughs> have been like, what the hell is that? Colin, we protesting. My father, but do it. It sounded good. <laughs> Hold on. That dude sounds like that? Bullshit. Colin, sorry about that. I'm glad that joke worked because <laughs> that's a new one. I was running that by. <laughs> I was running by my, by my friends in the green room. I go, hey, I think I'm going to do this Chris Stapleton joke. We in Nashville. I'm going to say Colin Kaepernick's going to stand up. And he's like, that's good. I said, okay, we need a black guy in the room to validate this. <laughs> so lucky my road manager, black, Brad, is a black dude. I go, Brad, what you think? He's like, I, I think, try it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that meant. I think, I think, try it. <laughs> I think Brad might have somebody else. <laughs> To work for something. <laughs> Brad might have been calling his friends. Watch this, you are about to get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> New joke. New joke. You guys got to slow down with the water and the coffee. It's a wild couple right here. Saturday night, you guys are getting it in. Where'd you guys meet? A AA meeting or? <laughs> Where'd you guys meet at? E Harmony? Really? That works? I always wonder if that shit works. That's one of the old school ones, too. That was like the first dating site. What would you, you have to put a profile, like what you're looking for, then what he's looking for? So, what were you looking for? A man that drinks coffee <laughs> with a little bit of sugar in it. 